To freeze frame in Create Studio Pro, you need to cut a track and insert a snapshot. However, that is nearly impossible on tracks with animation. That is until now. Keep watching and I'll show you how. This is Randy with another Create Studio Pro tutorial. Okay, so here is a track with a position animation added. At the starting endpoint, that left diamond, you can see the character is located here on the canvas. By clicking on the ending or the right diamond, the character will be repositioned here. As we play through the clip, the character will move from start to end. Now, to create a freeze frame, you would typically move your playhead to a point that you want to freeze. But, look what happens when I cut the track between the endpoints. The position animation disappears and the character is now walking in place. So, you could try and compensate for this by adding animation to the first clip and then adding animation to the second clip, but that is very painful getting them to be consistent. The solution is to bounce your video. What is bouncing? Well, it is publishing a video sequence that you will import back into Create Studio Pro to continue making edits, particularly edits that would be very hard or impossible in the original. Here is a scene of Safari Kid and Safari Girl running together. I want them to enter on the left and leave on the right, so to do that I will add a position animation. Tip! If you want the same animation on multiple characters, group the tracks before applying the animation. Now that both characters have been grouped together, I will add the animation, and to make it last longer, I will move the end diamond further to the right. Click on the left diamond and move the characters left of screen. Click on the right diamond and move characters right of screen. That looks like a good running pace. Now that the animation is in place, it is time to generate the bounce video. First, we will need to give the project a name, which I will just call it Bounce. Next, publish the video, and since we want transparency, select the movie file type and toggle on Transparent. Save this video as a file on your computer. Publishing a transparent video can take a while so I will fast forward. The publish is complete. Next, import the bounce video, and because you saved it as transparent, a pop-up box will appear. When asked if you want to import video with transparent alpha channel, click on yes. To confirm that the bounce is exactly the same as the current track, I will drag the video onto the canvas and play it from the start. Depending on your computer, it may look like the video lags, but if you step through the video frame by frame, you will see that the bounce video is exactly the same as the original. Now that we have loaded the bounce video, we can delete the original with the animation. Move the playhead to the position you want to capture a freeze frame. Right mouse click and select Take Snapshot. The shot will be added to my files. When the snapshot is dragged onto the canvas, it appears to be smaller. But if you look at the settings in the top right, you will notice that the scale is not at 100%. So change that scale to 100% and the snapshot is perfectly aligned with the video. Without moving the playhead, select the video track and cut the track by clicking on the scissors icon. The clip after the cut will be highlighted, so move that right to the position where you want the action to resume, and then drag the snapshot onto the same track as the video, and then resize to fill the gap. Let's play that from the start. Sweet! By bouncing a video, we are now able to add freeze frame to our project in the middle of animation. There are several other great uses for bouncing a video, and I will share those in a future tutorial. Hey everyone, have a great day, and happy creating.